hello friends welcome on freeprojects.com and this is my new project hotel booking system and i have developed this project in php and mysql and for front end part i am really using a very good uh, boot good bootstrap theme you can see this is a really very good and eye catching bootstrap theme and this is really a full mobile responsive theme so you can run this website on any of the mobile or the tap platform so the ui will not be distorted and it will be stringed according to the mobile and the tap platform so uh, this is the php and mysql project and i have used i have used css javascript jquery many of the jquery library and the html5 and css3 for developing the theme so uh, let's start with the functionality so this is a project hotel booking system and the, uh, this is the home page of the product uh, project you can see this is a really very good slider you can change the text and the image uh, from the code and these are the texts and these are the static text also these are all uh, these above uh, slider is also static and you can just replace those images and the text onto the uh, coding the, uh, it will be changed here right so this is the home page of the project and this is the about us section so you can change the text here also and this is the book room so book room will only and only work if customer has login so currently customer has not logged into the system so it's a login first to book your room this is the room list so you can see there are five types of room in that hotel and you can see uh, the rates and the bits and the name and number of bits of that room and then the registration this is the registration form where, from where the customer will be able to register and this is the login form from where the customer and admin both will be able to log in so and this is the contact us form you can see this is the real google map and this will also this will only and only work if you have internet connection on your laptop because google map is the web map the web api it works on the web api and it only works on the internet connection okay so uh so so for user point of view there are two types of user into the system the first one is the admin user and second one is the customer so both have separate set of permissions and the above menu and the internal functionality will run according to the uh, role and permissions so once uh, user log into the system so for both customer and the admin for both uh, the login page will be same but according to the role and permission the internal functionality will be changed also the above menu you can which you are seeing so this menu is for non login user if any login if any user logins into the system inside the system then above menu will also be changed according to the role and permission of that users okay so let's start with the admin functionality i am logging with the admin so i am i have entered a in wrong user id and password so it's it's showing it's an invalid username and password right so i am logging to the system now so this is the, you can see the above menu has been changed and it's coming according to the uh, user role and permission right so this is the administrator and add new system user add new system user means add new admin so admin will be able to add any number of admins into the system so the second one is uh, add new customer so this is the customer registration form and uh, admin will be able to add any number of customers into the system also so this is the add new room uh, add new room form so you can see this is these are the drop down and these are the room facilities so these both of the things are coming from the database and you can add edit update delete uh, the values of this drop down and the multi value selected field uh, from the admin panel there is no need to change anything into the code or into the database directly i have provided you the forms for that for adding the room type and the room facility right so admin will be able to add rooms here he will enter the choose the room type room name max adult room fair title number of beds max child and the room image and the uh, room facility right so this is the add new category so that is the uh, category which is coming into the room type uh, drop down okay so if you enter any type of thing any type of category here then 
that value will also be reflected into that drop down that room type drop down right this is the add new facility again the that checkbox one means this one the value of this one if you want to add more facility then you can add more facility from this form okay so this is the report so admin will be able to see the reports the, okay this is one of the most important things so this is the real search okay you can so currently there is only one record but you if you add more admins and uh, customers then you will be able to search or filter the records or the records on real time i will show you later this is the customer now there are two customers right if you want to search for the suman then you can see this is the real search so this is one of the more most advantage of that project that you can search anything on the real time you can edit the data and you can also sort the data according to the value okay you can see the sorting is done on the real time right you can and see mobile sorting email sorting data bar sorting each and every sorting is happening on the real time also on the searching part also okay so this table has been integrated on each and every report section okay so this is the room report so now there are uh, these reports are available now you if you want to see the deluxe room then you can see deluxe okay so now i think hall ac ac so there are two ac rooms now non ac rooms ac rooms right so you can search any 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 values from here and if you enter this value then that will be filtered on runtime there is there will not be any database hits will be happen from here right and you can also remove it and sort it from here okay so these all are working okay so this is the room and if you want to edit the room then you can edit and update the room from here also right so this is the category report if you want to edit the category report then you can edit and update it and the same as the booking facility report so these all facilities are coming on the room at page so if you want to edit and update then you can up edit and update the rooms from here also okay this is the booking report so these bookings has been made by the customer and if you want to see the booking details just click on the view and that booking details will be displayed here right so if any customer books the room then that things will be displayed here each and every information of the customer check including the bookings will be uh, admin can see all, all the details including the customer details and his booking details okay and this is the my account section from where the admin will uh, and will can be update can be update their uh, uh, account details and the change password from where the admin will be able to change the password and the logout section so at once admin log out from the section then all the session will be destroyed and none of the internal page will be accessed by anyone any any of the users right now i am logging as a customer so customer sorry I think the user ID is different. Uh, let me check. Okay, so sorry. Very good. So this is the sum and test okay so i have logged in into the system with the customer user and user id and credential now a customer will be able to see my bookings and my accounts and the change passwords right now i am going to book the room okay so i am going to seven to ninth number of person three and number of person two child one and number of rooms one I search room so once he clicks uh, once the customer click on the search room then all the available room will be uh, available room option will be displayed and once you click on the book room then booking forms will be open and uh, all the details are pre-filled and once the customer clicks on the book my room then uh, there will be a sample payment gateway this is not a real-time payment gateway this is a sample payment gateway uh, will be opened here and customer will increase credit card details and the name on the credit card and the credit card type and the expiry date of that credit card 
and the CVV number and total amount, customer will not be able to change the total amount, it's a read only fill, right? And click on the make payments. Once customer clicks on the make payment, then the room's precept will be printed, uh, will be displayed and customer can uh, print the room receipts on clicking on that print, right? So this is the whole project okay so if customer wants to see his bookings then he clicks on the my booking and he will be able to see his booking details right and this is the my account section again for the customer and the change password section for the customers and the logout again so this is the hotel booking system which i had developed in php and mysql and you can run this project on your jam server vamp server also you can configure this project on linux environment and windows environment as well as your mac system so currently currently i am using the mac so you can configure in any of the operating system uh, and for that you must have uh, the php and mysql on that system for running this project and currently i am using the php version 7 and mysql version 5.6 for running this project so i am using the latest version of the php so, okay so this is the project um, which you have so seen and uh, if you have any issue and if you need extra functionality and need more features in this project then you can post into the comment and i will sure i will uh, make changes in my project to make it better okay okay thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thank you very much